So let's learn about what happens when we remove an artificial price floor that a government has set, right? So let's take an example where we have uh, price on x on y axis and quantity on x axis for coffee, right? And let's say our supply and demand curve looks like this, and the equilibrium price is two dollars for you know let's say coffee quantity of 1.4 pounds yeah so with this setup what we know is that's the equilibrium and let's also draw here what the price floor is yeah so let's assume that the government has set a price floor of two dollars and 25 cents meaning here, what we are seeing is that the supply is way higher than the demand. Yeah, so there is a surplus, meaning there is more available of that coffee because producers are producing more. So the question now is, what happens when this artificial price floor is removed? What happens in the market? Well, it depends on two things, and I think in the short run there will be a tendency where the prices would go down and settle at the equilibrium of two dollars but what would also happen is that in the long run these suppliers could uh, find out that hey this is not profitable for me because let's say the supplier market clearing price is two dollars but the supplier actually needs two dollars and ten cents let's say to be like break even meaning the market is willing to pay them two dollars but they can only produce it at two dollars and ten cents right and so what would happen is while in the short run the prices would go down and clear because supply would meet demand what will happen in the long run potentially is that maybe this supply curve which initially was here, S1 could have a supply shock um, by it shifting to the left. And so for the same demand curve, let's say it was D1, S1, we see that price moved up, right, from P1 to P2 because some of these suppliers left. They are like, I'm not doing this unprofitable business so there could be a huge supply reduction which could have a long-term impact um, of price actually going up similarly you could start to see when these suppliers stop to produce um, or if the market feels that there is going to be a shortage because suppliers are going to leave then the initial um, demand curve could also shift so the initial demand curve we have d1 and supply curve s1 the demand curve could massively shift up and so the equilibrium price can again go up big time um, because people are stocking up they want more and more of items um, because they fear that there will not be as many suppliers and they fear that prices are going to go up even more so might as well stock up some of these goods uh, aggressively so the answer of what happens when you remove this artificial floor price depends on what is the elasticity of supply and demand um, and second are we talking about the short run or are we talking about the long run so it's quite nuanced as to what would happen to the price as for when an uh, artificial floor is removed. It's very clear that in the short run it would clear uh, and reach the equilibrium price, but then that could be unprofitable for some of the suppliers or there could be a huge demand shock, a positive demand boost because of people stocking up that could have uh, a major positive impact as well. Yeah, thanks.